Now, please look at this article that appeared in your October 2013, which is relevant to P4. Now, it's about the second part here, actually. Part 2. The first part appeared in September 2013, which I think you have all gone through that article. But this is going to be a sample of a 50 mark question that is being introduced since last sitting. Now, we're going to look at this question that is created. Yeah. Um, look at required first. Looking at required is on the third page. Looking at required, it's a very long question. Yeah, probably by the time you go to the required, it will be lost. Okay. Now, looking at the required, prepare a report. It has to be a report, and this report is going to cover A, B, C, D, and everything. So basically, this report is about the whole question. Is that clear? This report is about the whole question that's going to be giving you 50 marks. And there will be format marks for structure and presentation. Four marks it's actually given to you outright. So you only need to have another 46 more marks. Okay. Now, going up to the required part A, it's going to be to the board of the director. So you know to you address to whom. Okay. Where is it from? Well, if you're not mentioned, call yourself Nance Manager. Now, provides a financial assessment of what is the financial assessment. Usually it's NPV. Is that clear? At this level, it's usually NPV. Of the final phase of the Nuruk train line. So this is what you're going to appraise. You're going to appraise the final phase of the Nuruk train line as at 1st of January. 2014. Now that will be your time year zero. First of January 2014 will be your time year zero. All cash flows are to be presented in nominal terms, which means it's going to be in money terms, which means it includes inflation. Okay? And the project's dollar cash flows. Sorry. And the project's dollar cash flows. That means you have to make sure it's in the dollar cash flows. You have to make sure that the cash flows are a dollar first before you discount it and an appropriate nominal appropriate nominal cost of capital. So this is going to be again including inflation, money cost of capital. So make sure it includes inflation. Ignore the offer from Adders in Corporation and the alternative financing option. They wanted to ignore this for 22 marks. Okay. A discussion of the assumption made in arriving at the financial assessment. Now, a discussion of the assumptions. What are the assumptions made, made in you making coming to this financial assessment? Now, part C, an assessment of the offer made by Edders. What is the uh, assessment? What method of assessment are you going to use Purchase the contract from Penn in two years' time. This should be an estimate of the financial value of the rail option. So you're going to add on some strategic value here. Um, probably, uh, you will see later, actually it's an option to abandon, option to exit, option to sell. Is that clear? Option to sell. What is the value of that option to sell? And then you bring it into your traditional NPV earlier. And then you're going to see this project. This is... This is a usual assessment, NPV. This is going to be an assessment of rail option included to your main project. Nine marks only it's given. So you got to do this fast. Now, a discussion of the two alternative finance options specifically addressing. So you need to discuss, number one, if Penn Company raised the funds from banks based in Nuruk, how would this affect the financial assessment of the project? So... We're going to see what is this later on. No further calculations are required in this stage. The key difference of PEN that should be aware of is in raising money via the Islamic finance option and also as opposed to the traditional forms of debt, six months. What's the difference between raising money as usual uh, debt as opposed to the Islamic finance of debt? Okay, I think you're ready to do this 
question. Look at part one, paragraph number one. Now, if you look at paragraph, please kindly name that paragraph, yeah, because we'll make reference to paragraph, we'll, we're not going to search for it, yeah. It's easy for you to do searching. Now, Penn is a successful company based in a European country, AGI. The local currency is in dollar. So if you notice something, uh, remember just now in the required, your cash flows must be in dollar before you discount. That means you have foreign cash flows, you bring it to the local cash flows, which is in dollar, and then only you do the discounting process to get your NPV. So the step is going to be foreign cash flows, convert to local dollar cash flows, then you discount. Because there's another approach where you discount the foreign dollar, sorry, currency first, and then you bring it to the local currency. That's a two different approach. But your examiner so far likes to ask you this approach. Yeah. Inflation. Inflation has been stable at 2.75% per annum. Inflation. Inflation is given for basically two reasons. Uh, in this FDI type of question, why they're giving you inflation is probably number one to convert your cash flows to include some inflation. The second is going to be for your what forecasting of future currency, yeah, forecasting of future currencies. And uh, income tax is charged on profit in the year in which they are earned, so it's in the same year. All right, so what is the key thing here? Inflation is important and in tax rate is 25%. Now, the company is listed, yeah, the company is listed on a major stock exchange and it has operations all over the globe. The market capitalization is gonna be 655 and the company has bonds with a varying maturity trading at 145. So this is going to be your value of your equity and this is going to be your value of your debt. Okay? Moving on. Now, Penn's nominal cost of capital has been stable at 10%. However, Penn uses a nominal risk adjusted rate when carrying out projects in a developing market. So if you go onto the developing market, you adjust your rate at 12%. But usually it's 10% if you're doing local type of product. So we got to look at the question, whether we got to see whether, um, is this a developing market? Now, next one is Penn Company's main operation is construction and laying of train tracks and tram lines. Uh, due to the position as a market leader, the primary consumers are government. Penn Company is renowned for its ethical business style and ability to com complete long and complex contracts within due. So this is uh, ethical ethics issues here, which was tested in the first part of September article. Anyway, there's no link between September article and October article, so you don't have to worry. Yeah, you don't have to link September pen and October pen. It's just that the company name is the same. But of course, they're doing some same businesses. It's just a, this is a second case, yeah? Another case for pen. Penn sets up a wholly owned subsidiaries in each country where it has business interests, including in Nuruk. So this is going to be Nuruk now. Nuruk is another country. Nuruk is a fully fledged member of Eurozone and shares a border with Ajai. So this is actually a neighboring country with Ajai. Ajai is in dollar and uh, Nuruk is in a euro zone, that means the currency is acceptably uh, euro dollars. And Nuruk is a well developed country. Unlike most of the euro zone, the economy is growing at a healthy rate. Now, here we, we are told if you carry out at a developing market, you ask for 12%. 12% is that is if you're developing market. Now, in this paragraph, if you notice, it's specifically mentioned, Nuru is a well-developed country. So it's not a developing country. So you got to use your discretion now, whether you want to use 12% or 10%. But anyway, we have to see whether the business risk is changing or the financing is changing or whatsoever. Now, the second 
part six paragraph is the primary reason for Nuruk's current economic state is the low level of taxation. Income tax is charged at 20%. So they're, they're saying that the, the reason why they are doing very well is the tax is very low, 20%. And just now in paragraph number one, we are told that Penn is in RGI and is charging 25%. So if that is the case, if you bring home some profits back to uh, RGI, you have to pay another 5% if there is a double tax agreement. Is that okay? In addition, the Norokan government reacted to the global recession with substantial physical expenditure plan leading to the enhancement of the national railway network. Okay, so Norok is, is a good country. They are taking care of the people by enhancing the National Railway Network. Okay, so far so good. So paragraph number seven since 2000, let me just highlight the key things, yeah? Let me just highlight the tax rate here, which might we, we might look at it later. Okay, since 2009, the government have invested in replacing and upgrading state-owned National Railway Network to allow the lines to run the new Superfast 2 SPF trains. The government committed to a 10-year plan to ensure SPF2 trains could operate on lines nationwide. Okay, we have this SPF2 story coming in and it's committed. Yeah, the government is committed to a 10-year plan. Now, Penn Company, via its Norokian subsidiary, has benefited from this government investment in railway network. The subsidiary was granted preferred... Uh, Sorry, the subs that subsidiary was granted a preferred supplier status by the government in 2009. So basically, it's highly regarded. Yeah, Pen Company subsidiary is highly regarded in Nuruk. It has been a primary but not exclusive business partner to the government. Primary business partner. Today, Pen Company have supplied entire specialized train track to run SPF2 and have consulted and advised the various construction companies contracted by the government on laying and testing processes. Currently, all stakeholders are content with the progress made. Now, next one. Paragraph number nine. The final phase of the project will take five years to complete. The track is being laid on a national heritage site, the Linus Mountain Range, by which there are many small villages. So basically, what are we told here is that you're going to do it in a place where it has been uh, designated to be a national heritage site. Yeah, so there's a lot of small villages down there. Maybe villages don't like this project to pass by their village. The train should not pass by their village. That's what they, they wish. The government has been uh, very, very careful by, uh, sorry, scrutinized by both the villagers and environmental protest group concerned that the new line would cause substantial ecological damage. 2010, the government pushed back the start date to 2014. So this government listens to people, unlike other governments, where they just bulldoze the project. But this government says, okay, fine, you guys complain. I will hold a public inquiry to hear the concerns of the stakeholder. They decided that the environmental considerations should be prioritized when laying the SPF2 rail line, and it is, should be considered a special case. So the government accepted this finding. They're willing to go for it and decided that Penn is the best company to carry out the upgrade works due to its ethical approach. So Penn was chosen because it has been always been ethical and Penn is going to get the job. Okay, now the paragraph number 11. Penn is required to supply, fit and test the line via a subsidiary. The government will closely monitor the project due to the outcome of the inquiry and in addition has allocated extra resources to this phase as it understands the task of laying the new run a new rail line will be onerous. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. Now, Penn Company wishes to consider the financial and other implications of the project before making final decision. Subsidiary will, will need to buy specialized machinery 
at the commencement of the project. So what you're going to do here is the subsidiary is going to buy <coughs> specialized machinery. So this is important of 1 million euro dollars. Okay, this is in euro. Okay, the, the company can claim TAD tax allowable depreciation on only 250. That means 750 is non-claimable uh, on a straight line basis over the life of the project. Yep, over the life of the project. We need to find out how many years life is it going to be. Okay. Okay, now, uh, paragraph 13. Penn Treasury Department believe that the financial investment, let me bring up my, financial investment will not alter the company's gearing. This is a key word to stress that you don't have to worry about APV. Yeah, no APV is here. Nor will the project affect the business risk profile. So they're, they're stressing that this will not affect the business risk profile. That means your gearing is not changing. Your business risk profile is also not changing. That means I'm going to go back to paragraph number two and I'm going to decide my discount factor now. I'm going to go back to my paragraph number two and I'm going to say my discount factor is going to be simply 10%. Is that clear? So this is, this is simply it's going to be 10%. Now, going back to this uh, paragraph 13, however, the necessary amount, uh, however, the necessary amount of funds to purchase the machinery will have to be raised in agile dollars by the financial market. That means they are raising the money in the financial market in the same proportion with their current financial structure okay one key stipulation of the public inquiry was to specify how many meters of line could be laid each calendar year now this is in meters don't worry if you don't like meters just change it to units it sounds like units but actually it's meters it's number of units yeah you can you are going to do for a period of how many years one two three four five years so this is going to be for a period of five years your TAD will be on fifty dollars per annum straight line method okay paragraph okay so we have this five years uh, number of units 5007 this is all your revenue yeah this is going to bring in your revenue as well as your variable cost now paragraph number 15 the government will pay pen 55000 euro per meter at the end of 2014 this will be time year 1 increasing by 3% this is going to be 2014 you follow this price end of 2014 so 2015 onwards is going to go up by 3% material and local labor costs are 23,000 let me just highlight the important ones yeah 55 3% 23 5% fixed cost will be 40 million okay this is 23,000 this is 40 million at the end of 2014 and rising by 6%. This is an information cost paragraph as well as revenue paragraph. Now, Penn has a standard policy on all foreign subsidiaries to make a fixed, yeah, to make a fixed annual royalty payment of 15,000 per track back to the holding company at the end of the respective year. This is something like uh, transfer pricing yeah they, they're just doing some royalty payment but this is an arm's length value is that clear this is an arm's length fair value uh, to cover the investment made in pen to develop the train track technology so this is going to be a fixed annual royalty payment of 15,000 uh, meter yeah 15,000 dollars $15, per meter so this is a cost uh, you must remember this is in dollar 
and it will be charged to Nuruk subsidiary as a cost and for the holding company in PAN will be treated as uh, income. So one plus cost is one plus income. Overall, if you really consolidate things, it's no cost to PAN, technically speaking, but they want to charge the other side $15,000 for some reason, yeah? Because of some royalty, they want to make some money out of it. So the, the holding company is charging PEN subsidiary in Nuruk $15,000. You have to make sure that this is, has to be converted back to euros first. Okay, in that particular project cash flows. Yeah, project cash flows must be in foreign currency first. All project cash flows must be in foreign currency first. Now, working capital. Yeah, working capital will be needed from 1st of January, that is year time zero. The initial amount can be estimated to be 10% of the revenue earned in 2014. So the first year working capital will simply be based on the revenue that is earned in the first year 2014. Each year, this will be needed to adjust with a 10 euro for every $100 change in the sales annual sales revenue sounds like 10 percent is that clear sounds like 10 percent to me 10 10 pounds 10 euros for hundred dollars euros change in sales revenue simply it is 10 percent okay net working capital sorry working capital will be recovered in full on 2018 which is the end of the project life we are told that 2018 is where you're going to stop uh, this train uh, tracks on the same day, the Norokian government has guaranteed to purchase from Penn. This is going to be your scrap value and it's going to be at nominal value, which is includes inflation. This is your actual cash flows. Therefore, this is nominal cash flows. These are actual cash flows in that year. So this is nominal cash flows include, included with inflation already. You don't have to do anything. Now, economic forecaster believe that the mid spot, yeah, midpoint spot exchange rate on 1st of January 2015 will be 781, uh, 0.7810 per dollar. Now, this is given to you as the exchange rate. Simply means one dollar is so much of euros. You require so much of euros to get the one dollar now you must remember you're going to change your currencies to dollar you have to divide you're going to change your currencies to euro you have to multiply yeah this is simple rule that we follow if the currencies are quoted in this format but you got to be careful first you got to make sure it's quoted in this format first first set currencies you multiply second set currencies you divide now the a giant central bank expects the dollar to devalue at the rate of five percent so they say the dollar is going to become weaker that means we are not going to use any purchasing power parity theory or whatever method to forecast the exchange rate we are just going to be devaluing the rate we're going to we're going to devalue this rate as far as the dollar is going to devalue sometimes careful it's not always you multiply by 0 0.95 it could be sometimes you multiply by 1.05 you have to be very careful which set of figures you're going to use are you going to multiply this rate with 0 0.95 or are you going to multiply with 1.05 it all depends on this particular word is it dollar or is it euro if dollar is going to become weaker that means now one dollar you get so many euros in future one dollars if it's weaker you will get less euro dollars which means you're going to multiply with 0 0.95 is that clear if the question says euros is going to become weaker then you're going to make sure that 
every dollar is going to become stronger. In other words, one dollar you will get more euros. We have to use this 1.05. But in this case, it's euro is going to become weaker. So it's not a problem there. Now, a bilateral tax duty exists between the countries of Ajay and Nuru. Bilateral tax duty means that you pay tax in Nuru 20%, Ajay tax is 25%, you come home, you pay another differential of 5%. Hence, a taxable profit earned in Nuru will be liable to the differential income well, we know that figure, the fact we know, right? The giant government expects this to be paid in the same year as the tax profits earned. In the year. Now, next one is paragraph number 20. Offers from Adders Incorporated. Adders Incorporated is a large construction company based in Europe. Since 2009, it has laid and tested a substantial amount of SPF train line in Europe. It has worked closely with Penn as it's supplied to its train track. Paragraph 21, the board of directors were uh, bemused that the government did not yeah, um, offer them SPF contract for the final phase. They believe they've gone through learning curve and could do the work on an efficient basis. They're, they're disappointed that the Norokian government did not give a local company they've given another company pen the board directors of this uh, Adders company yeah it sounds like it decided to approach pen and give them a one-off offer 1.2 sorry 1200 million to purchase the contract from them in two years time which is December 2015 this is an offer for them to exit they're giving an option to pen to sell the lawyers, however, have advised them that the Norokian government has not expressed, expressly precluded Penn from exiting the contract early. That means Penn's lawyer says you can, you can exit early if you want, but advise Penn to consider the ethical issues if they decide to do so. So they say you can come out, but you're going to spoil your name. People give you, but you're going to give another person and you come out. It's not a nice thing to do. But what are the implications? I think that is one of the parts that we're going to discuss. Now, the next part here is going to be your alternative sources of finance. The Chief Financial Officer, CFO of Penn, has concern about the substantial initial investment required to start the project relative to Penn's market value. The company's financial advisors agreed with the CFO and are suggesting two alternative methods of raising funds. Now, this is a substantial initial investment needed. The investment that you need is going to be in paragraph number 12. 1,000 million in paragraph number 12. If you look at it there, it's uh, equivalent to 1 billion euro dollars. Yep, you need 1 billion. So, this is suggesting two methods. Anyway, they tell us here. Euro 1000 to be raised by a five year 6.25 syndicated bank loan. Now, syndicated bank loan, since the amount is big, one bank can't give you the money. They don't want to risk giving out all the money. So, what the banks will do is if you go to bank A and you ask them 1 million, they'll say, okay, we'll arrange for a syndicated bank loan. This bank will lie us with other bank to give them the funds. Is that clear? So basically, this floor will be like a middleman for all the other banks and give you that money of 1,000 euros. Okay, but anyway, it's, it's a bank loan. It's a simple bank loan. It's just that many banks are giving you this loan. Full stop. Pan's company advisor believe that a number of Norokian bonds will be, will, will be willing to participate in trust such a transaction. They also believe that they may be able to persuade the Nuruk government to provide a subsidized interest rate of 4% per annum on the element of this loan. So they said this is going to be, they said that they also believe that they'll be able to persuade the Nurukian government to subsidize the interest at 4%. So what's going to happen if they subsidize? To raise 
part, second part, to raise the funds on Islamic finance in the form of Sukuk bond, which is very popular nowadays. You can read newspapers. Every day there are some companies issuing Sukuk in our country. Now, these advisors uh, feel that the project characteristics are within the Sharia law regulation, and this would give pen company access to low cost of finance. So this is, I think, the last part of the question. Is that clear? Some written bits of it. We'll see that one later. But now what we're going to do is we're going to see how to go about doing the report.